are to your beginning of the month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you during this beautiful Taurus, Taurus time. Okay. Beginning of the month, possibly going on with Capricorn. Message, please, for Capricorn. Talking about this loving woman, it could even be a male. It's just really showing the nurturing and the compassion that's coming out. Um, doesn't have, but you know, that's why it doesn't have to be a woman. It could, for a lot of you, it could be, right? Um, but it could definitely also be a male. It's just talking about that, you know, the way they are nurturing and compassionate. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. So talking about this loving person. Talking about that fear. Not having the present power with a creative endeavor. So there's something that's going on that has to do with this person. We're just going to put it this person. They may have this kind of feminine energy that's bringing out this like kind of woman um, energy within them. Um, but definitely they're talking about the, the fear. Um, the fear is what's holding back this situation. Um, so there is definitely something that you are fearful of or something that's causing some kind of toxicity within your mind, um, kind of feeling stuck um, within the situation when it comes to this person. Okay, so it's kind of crazy because it's like this person puts out a lot of attention and a lot of love to you, but yet you have this kind of fear-based um, energy going on within yourself that's kind of holding you back from taking this person's love, right? Maybe there's something toxic going on. Maybe you know this person who used to be toxic or can put out a lot of toxic energy. Um, so in the beginning of the month, it feels like they want to overwhelm you with love, compassion. Uh, maybe they're even bringing you a puppy or flowers or something of this nature, bringing some in some kind of gift, right? Really kind of showering you. Um, and it could just be the showering of love and compassion. Um, within the present power, it's kind of weakening you down um, to the fact that there's not enough power within this relationship to keep you mindful of what they're trying to do now because you have the fear of what they've done in the past, right? So we do do that though, right? It doesn't mean you don't forgive them. It means I don't forget about what you did. So you can come loving to me all you want. Um, like I said, you could be writing me poetry. You could be giving me, taking me to a concert, you know, wanting to do all these creative things with me, but it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm literally just going to jump into your arms and say everything's okay, right? So we're kind of looking at it this way because you're kind of maintaining that this is the way it is. If this is someone at work, I don't know why, but I feel like for some of you, it could be somebody at work. It could be, you know, a superior or a coworker who has been nothing but nasty to you, and now all of a sudden they want to kind of shower you with all this love, and oh my God, you're doing such a great job, when you know they're the office gossip. And it's like, why would I want to go back to that when all you did was gossip about me? Um, so you got to be careful about that as well. Let's get some more cards and see what's going on. However it is, it's almost like this person you see is... I know who you really are, so you can come at me loving all you want, um, but that's not going to change the facts of what happened in the past. Okay. For some of you, they are definitely trying to show you true love. Okay, They really want to shower you and really show you true love, show you the appreciation, show you... You know, all these things. No wonder you feel kind of weak because, yeah, because of the dark thoughts of, look, you put me into this dark thoughts. Um, you're making me think about, you know, what you've done. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of like now they want to come and shower you all this love, even though you see what they're really capable of doing. Why did you hurt me so bad? And why in the world would you come back to me um, and try to, you know, shower me with all this love, compassion, and maybe gifts? Okay. With this, it says new supportive connections. You're saying, I'm not going to show you any support within the situation. No, not going to happen. No, I can't. I can't. See, because there's not enough attraction anymore, right? 
They could be the hottest thing on the planet. I don't care, male, female, it doesn't matter, right? If it's coming to a love situation. But because they stole your power from you and stole the power from the relationship, they've done nothing to show you anything except for what they really truly are. So now they want to make a 160 and they want to try to bring this back in and say, no, 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 Capricorn, I really do love you, right? And you're saying no. And for cross watchers, it could be the Capricorn that's done this to you. For some of you, look at this. It could be a family member. It could be they've destroyed the whole family. They've got your family involved with the situation. Um, even if it's at work, you could consider it your work family. Um, you know, however it is. But whatever it is, it has disrupted your life and your family through what they have done in the past. So you finally finding the inner peace within the situation, but you do not see any great achievements through this situation. You guys could have even been um, engaged to be married and they broke some kind of promise or showed you who they really are. Look at this, right? The fear, the dark thoughts, just completely just like this diagonal from each other, saying you've broken promises. I remember what you did. You can't just come wandering back in and then just act like nothing's happening. So at the bottom is that playing it safe, which is kind of crazy because we did talk about playing it safe last month. I think it was the end of the month reading last month where it's saying, remember, those who watched, I'm telling you right now, we, we already talked about it. Look at that, the kindred relationship. We already talked about this. This is the one where it says, you can pull up a chair all you want, right? But that does not mean that I, you know, I'm listening, right? Because this is the same one, right? I think we had a loving man come in last time. This is really crazy because this is the one where, yeah, it's definitely the same one. But it says, I'm not taking you back, but I'm listening because if I remember right, they came back to apologize. They came back to give you flowers, to try to do the same thing they're doing now. So, but you're saying, no, I'll listen to you, but uh, that doesn't mean nothing. It means nothing. It just means I'm listening. I'm listening for you to give me the right words, right? So it feels like they came back, they gave you the right words, but now they're taking it to the next level. See, but you're still saying, you're still saying right now, I probably should get another thing up. You're saying right now, no, see, I'm still playing it safe. See, last month I said I was playing it safe. I told you I'm not doing this. No, I'm still sitting here. I will still give you a chair like I did at the end of the month, but I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. We are not having new connections. We are not playing this game. So very interesting. And you know, it was crazy because last month it did come up as a loving man coming through. And now it's just like I said in the very beginning, it's coming through as a loving woman um, could still be a man, but that's because they're really opening up their heart because they're really trying to get you to take them back. They want that loving relationship with you. They want the great achievements with you. They're trying to tell you how much they screwed this up. But I would be a little fearful and a little hesitant too. You know, like whether I said, whether it was a family member or whoever it is. Because remember, I, if I remember right too, my friends, I said this is a person that's very important. This is a very important person, right? It's the, the, the father or mother to your children. So it's not someone who's going away or a family member, right? It's not, you know, it, it's a very important person. It's just that I cannot trust you. This is a lot of trust issue here is really what this is about. Because if you're still stuck within the dark thoughts of what they've done, right? Then that's saying, I, I, I see what's going on. I'll forgive you, but I ain't never forgetting what you did. Because they literally stole all your power. <clears throat> so yes, with a fear comes this new change in this new direction of the Wheel of Fortune. So it is saying that this person is really starting to really try to change um, themselves and making you have a change too, because they also don't want you to be within this fearsome, this fearsome zone. Some of you might even be literal fear, like, you know, something really bad happened, um, you know, but you still have to have them around. 
um, because of the children or something. I don't know. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. However it is, it's definitely the fear of them doing it again. That's for sure. Um, it is showing, though, that the Wheel of Fortune is, no matter what, is showing this change. Um, and them wanting this chance. It could be the Emperor over here. Your dad, an older gentleman, older woman, or someone who is in the military, or, you know what I mean, or have hold a higher position, um, or want to to make themselves seem superior. That happens too with the emperor. Remember the emperor doesn't always have to be what it, what it is. It could just be they believe they're above everybody else. So they hold a more of a superior role, right? And kind of maybe holding everything over your head as they are better than you type of thing. So that could be very ego. Uh, with a creative endeavor, it's like, I know because you're trying to give me all these things. You're trying to think of creative ways to say things to me. You're trying to whisk me off my feet, do this and that, or try to apologize by, you know, throwing and showering me gifts. But I'm watching and learning and listening from this situation because you have learned a lot from this situation. And as we're talking right now in the beginning of the month, the more you watch and the more you listen, the more you're going to see that they have changed. But let's put it this way, Cap, how many times have they changed, right? A lot of you can say, yeah, and that's happened how many times now? How many times does this just keep playing itself out? So with the true love over here, it's saying they're becoming very impatient about the situation because they really want to fix this. Um, and it's almost like at the end of the month, you were like, yeah, okay, whatever, you know, and uh, playing it safe, you know, whatever. Thanks for the apology. Um, but they really are trying to dig their, their feet deep and really getting stabilized. We see that with the emperor going off of the temperance that they're really pushing, really pushing for this. And the more it feels like they're pushing in the beginning of the month, the more you're having more of a trapped mind in a maze because it can cause confusion, right? Because you're becoming consciously aware of what they're doing as you're watching and you don't want to get trapped. Yeah, you don't want to get trapped in, in a trap. <laughs> no, but see, it says because you already know the truth anyways. For some of you, this could be your um, ex, divorce, right? And you could even be saying, no, because we divorced for a reason. We separated for a reason. We legally separated for a reason. Or I had brought you to court for these reasons. However, it is something was definitely justified within your own mind. But it just feels like the more that they keep coming back to try to justify their love um, and wanting you to have this forgiveness for them, the more you keep playing it out in your mind, which you're trying your hardest. It feels like you're trying your hardest because you already know the truth, but you're trying to just keep yourself at, at a very good distance and a very good balance. Um, with no new connections, it's like, no, oh, look at that. For some of you, they cheated and cheated, and boy, did they cheat. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You can sit over here and tell me that you love me. Uh, this song's just popped up in my head, right? You just, uh, the song that popped in my head, guys, I'll tell you, is Don't Tell Me You Love Me. Because I don't really know. And no. Because the type of love, it's like, fine, maybe there is somewhere deep down inside that they do truly love you. That's fine. But they don't, but, you know, do they know how to actually be in love? Hold love? Know what true love is? Well, if they're cheating, they don't. So how are they going to, how are they going to express that and treat that in that way anyways, right? <clears throat> and for some of you, it's, it's almost like they're even trying to say, I see the three over here and then I see the three children over here. And it could even be like they're trying to say, well, we have children, you know, I love you and the children. <clears throat> it just feels like, you know, for the majority of you, it's like, you know, I let you see the children. I'm not holding you back from that. You have the victory with the children. You can see your children. I'm not going back with you, though. However it is with the family, there's victory. It's fine. But when it comes to this person, nah, I'm done. Because I've already got my inner peace. So you're going to find a lot of inner peace within yourself once you actually get away from the dark thoughts to really think about the situation at hand because you already know the truth about the situation. So, you know, they're just trying to make mind over matter. 
I would love to see a double card because that's what that means, right? <clears throat> no, because you're going to separate yourself from all the anxieties of the dark thoughts, from the fear, and you're going to take back the control that you need. So in a lot of ways, you're going to become your own emperor. You're going to start taking on the emperor moves. See, because in a lot of ways, it feels like they had a lot of control about the situation. You know who this person is. They like to be the emperor. And now you're going to say, no, nah, I'm going to take on my own emperor. I've been my own emperor for a while. I don't need you to come back and try to confuse me. So there is the inner peace again with the great achievements upside down. You're saying, I'm not taking anything from you. But thank you very much. Um, moving on. And some of you might even be moving on within Aries. Maybe you already have true love somewhere else. Maybe you already found your inner peace and great achievements within Aries. Maybe they don't like that. Um, but you already have your own manifestation and rushing towards what's passionate for yourself. And you have many other great opportunities and leaps of faith. It just feels like this person is just trying their hardest to come through to really, you know, try to get you in your head. But at the end of the, or the, end of the beginning of the month, my friends, around the 9th, it's over, right? The 9th, the 10th, the 11th, it's done. It's over because you're not going to think about this anymore. So you're taking the time to play it safe for since the end of the month to the beginning of the month where they keep coming back and they keep kind of trying to get your, you know, into your head. Um, you know, is it lies? Is it not lies? Trying to debate whether or not what is the situation. Are they fabricating truth? Are they wearing rose-colored glasses and trying to make me believe something that's not true. It's going to be really hard because we have now, once again, third-party situation. So how do I know? You know, and it just feels like it's an ongoing thing. So, you know, but it does feel like they are going to weigh a lot of decisions into this situation. Uh, but it does look like you're going to end up cutting out a lot of the conversation with them. Um, because it's, it looks like you're pretty much done um, with this scenario. Um doesn't mean you won't stop talking to them. It just means you're not going to give them the type of connection and conversations that they, you know, um, it's kind of like they, well, every time they text me, you know, I text them back, whatever, you know, I offer them a seat at my, at my quiet table, but then it's like, uh, at the end, it's like, no, I don't want you sitting at my table anymore. I'm all done. Thank you for expressing what you wanted to express. I'm all done. I've come to the truth about the situation. I've really gone through it. I've weighed my pros and cons. And I'm done. So now it just feels like <laughs> by mid-month, guys, there's going to be no bringing another chair to your table, right? It's over. Um, see, because they're trying to get you to get fireworks back here. They're trying to work you all up. And look at you. You're like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Well, come mid-month, you ain't listening anymore. You're like, okay, all done. No, no tea for you. Thank you. I'm sorry. There's no more tea cups at this table. <laughs> You know, so it's going to be completely finished. That's going to be that. But they were going to be sad about the situation. Of course, I already see that, you know, so let's grab some, you know, whether it's a, like I said, a family member, a loved one, whoever this is, my friends, um, let's just go ahead and grab a card in case this is romantic or an X or however it is. What do they, what do they think? That's what I want to know. Oh, wow. You know, it's kind of crazy because it says pay attention to the red flags, but it's coming out on what they think. Now, that's what's interesting. It's because, you know what, it, it came up flying out onto the justice card. So it makes me think that they're kind of watching your red flags, too, because as you're sitting over here, you're kind of getting this idea you're not going to take them back. So they're watching their own red flags. They're kind of watching the way you're sitting, the way you're moving, the way you're expressing yourself. They have to be watching those red flags, though, because that's going to show the outcome of what they're doing. So at least they have a little, you know, they have a little perception going on over here, enough to be aware to know that you're throwing out no white flags, but only red flags, which are saying, mm, I'm distancing myself. And they see that. Um, so that's very interesting. And they see that you really want the red flags that are coming off of you, my friend, to this person is separation. Could be dealing definitely with a Libra or a Sagittarius. And I'm telling you now, um, yeah, huh. they see that you're throwing out this, there is, it's not gonna happen. And they, like I said, they see you kind of backing out um, and really kind of 
pushing your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Cold shoulder, right? So they do see that you're, you're separating yourself little by little by little by little until you just stop talking, right? Conversation's done. I heard what I needed to hear. Thank you very much. Goodbye. So this is very, very interesting that they are getting your warning signs. And that's really what they are. They're your warning signs of how you're carrying yourself. But they really wanted you to give them this, this chance. So they keep trying to build trust within you. They're trying, and you feel that. If they're coming back as the loving person, you know they're trying to build this, right? Give me a chance. Let the wheel of fortune go. And you're saying, nope. Yep, they're trying to build that. They're trying to build that passion. They're trying to build that back up, but it's just not happening. And so the warning signs that they're getting is, uh, they, they capital don't, don't trust me. Nope, they're not going to give this a chance. So, like I said, at least they're keen and aware, you know. They're not completely just um, wearing rose-colored glasses and just being la-la land. At least they're actually using their brain. So that's a good thing. And like I said before, cross watchers, remember, it could be the Capricorn that's also doing uh, this to you because uh, energy can go back and forth. But very, very, you know, crazy because it is definitely running over from the last reading. So at least from last month, we get to see what's going on this month um, and how it's going to kind of play out. And you probably already feel this energy within yourself. Um, if you didn't realize you're giving them kind of these red flags, um, you definitely are. Um, it, it could be just a definitely, um, an unsung, you know, a subconscious, um, way of dealing with things. You know, we do these things. We don't realize, you know, that maybe we're nudging harder than we realize. <laughs> so, but they're getting a hint. So that's a good thing. And the good thing is in the end, if you don't want to talk to them anymore, I don't see them coming back because they've already got all the hints that they need to say, okay, fine. Fine. I mean, it doesn't mean that they won't try a little bit harder in the mid-month. It just means that they're starting to become aware. So I don't think it's going to be as hard as it is in the beginning of the month because they're really trying to push this hard now. It's like they came at the end of the month in April and they were like, hey, I want to do this. And you're like, mm-hmm. And now they're just pushing, pushing, pushing. Wow. Okay, guys. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye. <laughs>